Hello, I'm making this video to show that a, a recent problem that I come across. Uh, so, I recently bought a USB hub, and here is the box. And I bought this so I could have more USB ports on the back of, or uh, in the back of the PC tower. So this is my tower here. Uh, I do have ones here on the front, but the cables. Uh, wouldn't be long enough to go around to the front there and have cables hanging there even though I've got the external USB drive hanging there so the motherboard I've got is an Asus Hero Maximus Maximus 7 Hero bought this in uh, 2014 it's been a good board and I'll show a shot of the rear IO panel so this is how I've got everything plugged in at the moment I do have some still plugged in to the USB hub I can't remember which one's which and so I definitely have this plugged in to it which is the Mitch motor which is connected uh, to the Simicu which is right there uh, and I also have SFX actuators so I have four four of them one here and so that's all connected and I also have Husqvarna Pro pedals good set of pedals high end and I have the Martin Asher button box medium size with uh, Spyco P310 now this is this is all run by USBs uh, variation of the USB 2.0s and 3s uh, mainly um, their twos so in this video I'll show that the wheel and the sim are working correctly whereas before I had no signal uh, coming from the PC to the Thanos controller that I have in this server cabinet so there's a shot there and that's the Thanos controller now while these are plugged in into the motherboard, the wheel and the Thanos controller FSX100, I'll go for a show a drive of the wheel turning like that, so it's turning smooth. I'll get off the grass, <laughs> and you can see the. I'll go up to the chicane here. And I'll show the, I'll get my finger out of the road. Sorry about that. And I don't know if I can do this. It's a bit hard doing steering and doing this one by hand. As you can see, the, the rig's moving. Okay, so I'll stop here. And I'll pause the video. And uh, after I put, come back from the, the pause, I'll have the wheel and the FSX plugged in, uh, I'll, re I'll shut down the PC and I'll go from there, restart it and we'll see if the problem will manifest. Basically the problem was the wheel was just behaving erratically, it was just going like this, like that, and it was just unbearable. So I thought the USBs were playing up. Uh, so I'll pause the video right now and I'll be back soon. Okay, I'm back. Now I've plugged all the, I plugged the wheel and the SFX, uh, both of those back into the, into the USB hub. I'll show a shot here. So that's how it is now. And I'll hop in. I still have a set of course up. Open it. To test it, um, I shut down the computer and re uh, and then turned it back on. Done a full shutdown. So now I'll start push start. Now let's see what the wheel does now. Just have to wait for it to load. Okay. Okay. So going out of the pits. Now you can see, oh, 
you can see what's going on. Where's reverse? Here we get reverse. Here we go. Well, I'm stuck in the pits. Yeah, you can see what the wheel's doing. Uh, that's not me. See, I'm trying to hold the wheel straight, and that's me. See, this is unbearable. So, I'll get in touch with the people, company, and the people that um, I bought this from, and see what they say. So there you go. This video there. Other than that, I've got the FFX going with this. Yeah, even the FFX is having a hard try, hard time to control it. I can't do any more, so I'll stop this video here. Thanks for watching, and have a good one.